this is Suzanne from Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the Carnation Bracelet. This is an advanced level design. To make this bracelet you will need 14A colored bands, 30B colored bands, 30C colored bands, and a C-clip. I will be using green, white, and pink to make this bracelet. If you don't have a band organizer like this one, I suggest you write A, B, and C on a piece of paper and put your bands by the letters. This will help you keep track of your bands while you are placing and looping. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Place the loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. Refer to the diagram on your screen as we place the first 12 bands on the loom. We'll start from the center pin and we'll start with an A colored band and we place band 1A. 2B is our second band placed using a B colored band and that's up the left side of the loom. 3B is pulled into the center pin and then we return to the beginning. We'll place band 4A. It's using an A colored band. And then our fifth step will be using a B colored band. And then we place 6B into the center. Seven A, eight C. We place a C colored band and then another one, nine C, into the center. Return to the beginning and place band ten A. That's using an A colored band. And then eleven C is placed on the right side and 12C into the center. We'll repeat this pattern two more times. I'll fast forward from here. Please pause the video and refer to the diagram until you reach the end of the loom. Now return to the beginning of the loom. Push your bands down as you get ready to place the next set of bands. Now refer to the diagram on the screen to place the next 12 bands. Start at the 6 o'clock position and move counterclockwise around the center pin as you place these bands. We'll start with a B colored band. and that is placed in the 6 o'clock position. Then we place band 2B. Three B. Push these down. Four B. Five B. and 6B. Then we place 7C. Again, that's in the 6 o'clock position. 8C. 9C. 10C, 11C, 12C. And then just push those down. 
Follow the diagram on your screen two more times. I'll fast forward from here. Pause the video here until you reach the end of the loom. We need to place one last band, and that's the cat band on this last pin. We'll use an A-colored band, twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on this last center pin. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. Refer to the diagram on your screen as you loop the first 12 bands. Start from the center pin, pull the cap band back with your hook and grab the first C colored band and pull that forward. Then we pull the second band out to the left Hold the cat band down with your thumb and pull that out to the left. Then our third band will be pulled to the right. Fourth. Pull the bands back with your hook. Grab the bottom band and loop that into the center. And then five. We repeat that on the right side and pull that band into the center. Band six will be looped forward. Pull all bands above it back. Grab that bottom C band and pull it forward. Same on this side. Grab the bottom C colored band and pull it forward. Eight will be pulled into the center. and nine will be pulled into the center. Ten will be looping your A-colored band to the center, and eleven is pulling that A-colored band to the center from the right. Then band twelve will be pulled forward. Put your hook down through the channel and locate that bottom C colored band. You can see how it pulled into a V shape. You've grabbed the right band and loop that forward. And that forms the teardrop shape. Follow the looping pattern shown on your screen as you loop the next five carnations. I'll fast forward from here, so please pause the video until you reach the end of the loom.
And there we finished looping all of the bands. Now it's time to finish the bracelet. On this last pin, pull all the bands up to the top. Slide your hook down through the channel of this last pin and tilt it out to the side, making sure all the bands are around your hook. Place an A colored band on the end of your hook and pull back. Slide your hook back up through this channel and place both ends of the band on your hook and then move to the thickest part. With your fingers, pull the bands from the pins on your loom to remove your bracelet. If made on one loom, this bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend a bracelet, you must first decide how many bands you'll need to extend your bracelet. If your wrist is really small, you may need only three or four bands. If your wrist is larger, you may need six or more. So you place the band you're using for your extension along one side of the loom in a single chain. And once you finish placing those bands, you'll extend the cap band from the bracelet from this last pin. You locate the cap band from the end of your bracelet, stretch it from this last pin to the one directly behind it, and then you loop your single chain extension. And once you've looped this last band, pull it to the center pin, and that creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. Grab your C-clip with the open side facing forward and snap it over the bands. Once that's on there securely, you can remove your extension. On the other end of your bracelet, pull the hook away, slide your two fingers into those bands, and then you can attach the other side of your C-clip. Move the bands to one side, attach it to the other, pull, make sure that's on there securely, and then there you have your finished carnation bracelet.